Okay guys, Akumaldo Crypto here and here we have again Bitcoin, our Bitcoin update. Oh, what a sideways correction, oh my goodness, 293 days and nothing pretty much has changed. We are still in this, what is this, right, this triangle, oh my let's zoom this thing and take a look so this is what i have we have this this trend line here that i can that i would consider let me change it a little bit yes it would be like this um that is a what we, we it's clear that we have some oopsie sorry it's clear that we have some kind of triangle formation here right um, and it's it's going sideways we see that we don't have a, a surging price we don't have a lot of volume the VPVR let's take a look shows of course it, it shows a lot of, of market interest here but not a lot here down below but what is interesting if we look at the VPVR is that we see market interest we see market reaction above it at those prices here especially if we get here at the td sequential uh, the td sequential resistance here it would be 7100 which is quite interesting if you watched my video yesterday uh, here is the td sequential if you go here and turn on the numbers I, as i explained yesterday uh, when you count it when you count a upward movement or a downward movement until nine, nine candles going up, when you get to nine, you have a resistance. Then you, f when it's the, when the opposite happens, we count to nine and until you have a, a support here. Okay. Um, this is a major support, by the way. Here, we, where we have the nine, when we have this this line here it's a major support it's not a surprise at all because this has been a, a great resistance and a support it has acted as a resistance six one six one hundred fifty okay remember guys in july remember in june okay this has been a key region for bitcoin and that wouldn't be different if we Okay, that this sequential is here showing 7100, one, but a key region is here where we have the where we have the 6165 percent, right? Remember the 6850, 6850. In this case here is 6900. Okay, this is a key region. Okay, key region, and we see that the, the that the movement is pretty much narrowing. We don't have a lot of of movement it's uh, where it we're just waiting right where it would go there is it, it must break either up or down I talked about it yesterday right if we let me add the Bullinger bands here but but only the Bullinger bands because um, the BB here Bullinger bands the classical one we see that is, is squeezing always when we have a movement like these guys when it's squeezing when we don't have space where oh yes we see that it's it's getting narrower and narrower and narrower it we don't have a lot of uh of space it can break either up or down i i, I give you guys that of course and it's <laughs> you see it's uh, if we break above it, of course, the bullish band would open like here, okay? When we touch the, the bottom band, like here, we have a reaction normally. But when we touch it, uh, let me show you guys one example. Where where we have an example of a narrowing like this? Because this is difficult to show in re retrospect. Uh, perhaps here, it's a, you see, it's... Hmm. It's a, it's quite a, a, a an interesting case here because this kind of narrowing here has never happened before in this sideways correction. You guys can see it, right? It has never happened. This kind of narrowing here 
where we have this huge indecision whether we are gonna go up or down, we don't know. Yes, oopsie, pardon me. <clears throat> it's this kind of, uh, it has never happened before, perhaps here, but then we open it, okay? We touched, we, we almost touched the upper band, but then we, we start going down and the, the bands just opened. Um, yes, it's 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 quite telling the Borussia band. Now it's another piece of information telling us that something must happen. Okay. As I said yesterday, we have this line here, seven one hundred. We have here the seven one the six one hundred. We have one thousand uh, price range. We have a one thousand price range here to navigate, and we have those two trend lines here that is uh, that is squeezing the price movement even further okay so this is the daily chart and that I, I I'm gonna refrain myself to talk about Elliott waves today at least for the daily because we have covered it over and over okay so let's take a look at the RSI this is a, a, an interesting RSI because I, I know I don't talk a lot about indicators like those indicators because they are not talking a lot about it. But we have here a, a, a bearish divergence, right? Not really a bearish divergence. We, we don't have a, a, a divergence at the daily level. But we are kind of a, in, a, in a bear side. We were in a bear side, but now we are in the fifth. If we stay above 50, 50 of the 50 RSI, it would be considered a, a bullish sign, but we are below it. This, this is where we have the 50. Let me show you guys, it's here. Um, okay, here, roughly. Huh? Yes, so we are below it, but I don't know. You can you can draw a triangle here if you are this kind of guy that likes to draw triangles everywhere. You can draw a triangle here. It's of course you 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 are gonna find triangles everywhere, okay? And obviously they are not. Uh, they are telling us that it must somehow break break this pattern, right? Either up or down, okay? The OBV here, we, we had a kind of a, a, a double bottom here, but it's quite low. Well, the OBV is quite low. You see, it's following that pattern, but even deeper. You, you, can, you don't see that this same movement that we have here in the OBV, we have a poignant movement. We have like the... the the price has declined, the amount of volume has declined really, really uh, deeply. Okay, when we have a double bottom here, it's a, it, this is an indicative, and I, I see it, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I see it tickling, uh, it's it's difficult to say it's if it's tickling below, if it breaks this line here, we're gonna see that, that this count that we have here, one, two, three, four, five, okay, but Without full, we don't have. Do the the question is: Do the bears have enough full to drop the price below it? That's a question. The CMF here is another story. We are above it. Okay, for the from uh, since August, we have been above the zero line here, and we have pretty much had a uh, money flow. We, we have money flowing into Bitcoin not it's unlikely what we have uh, in august that we had a negative here but now we have a positive shocking money flow uh, every time that we touch the zero line here we have a kind of a movement uh, a huge uh, you see here when it touched it we had but it was not a significant movement because bitcoin is going sideways so Yes, we are in the MACD, we are below zero, so it's kind of a, a bearish sign, okay? We were in, we were positive here, but then we we had that dump here, you see? That dump that I, I labeled as a wave one, 
and we are below zero. We are kind of trying to go above it, but you see the histogram here? It's kind of doing this. So this is a not this is a this might be the an indication of a bearish a bearish Instagram coming historogram he coming here. Hard to tell, really hard to tell. Hmm. Yes, um, I would say that I tend to as we have a triangle here. My count is a little. I am um, I am counting it as this. As I presented yesterday, this is the triangle that I think we have. This is an A, B, C, D. We would have another leg up, and then we would have an E, and would perhaps we would have this E, and we would finish this wave B, and then we would have this second um, wave here. This is the second wave that we have here. Okay, might might get might get and challenge this TD sequential resistance here. Might get. Uh, break this trend line here a throw off uh, just a, a week or two and then we would go down okay so this is um, th this is a uh, this show th th this movement here shows us what that we have one leg up that's clear but look at the uh, how many times it tried you know it's this kind of movement in, in the shock money flow it's it shows a lot of indecision, guys. A lot of indecision. It's really like waiting for something to happen, waiting for someone to pull the trigger, you know. And it's the same here at the squeezed. This is the same indicator, but this is the squeezed money flow. This is uh, it's all available on the trading view, guys. You see here, it's it's trying, but I see an increase in uh, in the money flow in the in the upper side here. But this is this this can be a, a sign of a bearish reversal, right? Because we they are trying the who knows, right? This would be a the same thing here. Yes, OBV has has been increasing. So this is a again when we don't have a double bottom here, but this might indicate a. We can count one, two, three, four, five here if you want, and we don't have this sideways action here on the OBV, which is a good sign. Oopsie. And here we have the MACD above the zero. Okay, so this is the two-hour chart. We have the MACD above the zero, but we see that is it the the sign is crossing and it's going down. So. Hmm. Are we gonna have uh, this? Are uh, are we gonna have this crossing here, and this histogram is gonna go lower? So we would have something like this, you know, and then I would need to cross the zero here and go a negative again. This is what happens, guys. Okay, this is kind of negative movement, and this is the pos positive movement. A positive movement would be like here, right? But uh, that that signs the, the end of the movement but you see that uh, since this was what this was September since September we don't have a, we haven't had a, a significant movement we know that and the MACD is showing exactly that okay this is the two hours and we have pretty much this sideways movement all the indicators are telling us the same okay um, I am proposing that we will that will that we will have um, a break upward. Uh, this is what this would be a wave two, okay, going sideways, and then we would have a three, four, five to finish this D, okay. And what is so interesting about it is that it's really simple. If we, if it's really simple to invalidate this count and to and to to invest and to play this uh, count accordingly, uh, if it breaks above this wave D here, we are good. We are in a bullish situation, and then this D would be that, and that would mean that would have a breakout of this D. 
But if we break below this C level here, we don't have a triangle. We don't have it. It invalidates completely this count. Okay, we will have a different count um, here. This line here, if we go to 6400, okay, this would mean that this wave two would have finished here and we would go down. Definitely, if we break 6400, we would go and challenge this. Six six to one fifty, okay. Six one six one hundred fifty. That would be really clear for me. We would challenge this to this equation resistance together with this trend line here, this blue trend line, okay. So, just to wrap up things, we have the bullish and bands here really tightening, okay. Um, and we have all those. Uh, we have those trend lines here. We have the the uh, the higher the longer time frames uh, trend lines and we have what we have the emas showing us what that the 21 ema let me turn off the delusion band that the 21 ema is acting actually as a resistance no okay we try to break it remember i said i said so yesterday and what we have now it's a spinning top okay i i I commented yesterday about the Ishimoku cloud here, okay? But what we have now is that 21 is holding Bitcoin, the 21 EMA, okay? We have that this is this line here, 6547, right? And we have a spinning top. So if we break like this, I'm sorry, if we finish the day like this, this is gonna tell us what? Uh, a trend reversal we have that candle here we would have a trend reversal or are we gonna finish this candle like a hammer or something um, it's hard to tell are we gonna try again to challenge this 55 EMA here would be 6600 remember as I said yesterday finishing the daily chart above this level here in in this inch uh, within the Ishimoku cloud here, the, the red one, would indicate that we would challenge the above, the above the top of the cloud. That would be 7100. So we have a lot of confluence. The Elliott wave is talking to get the Elliott wave's principle together with the traditional ways of an ana analysis. It's all pointing the same thing. Okay. And of course, if we break down this to this sequential 6150, we are gonna go down. We don't have even support here in the market, okay? We don't have support, the VPVR is showing us that. And I don't think that the bears have strength and uh, they don't have the strength and they don't have the momentum to push Bitcoin and, and break this blue line here. Not now, okay? Perhaps in the future, okay? Um, I'm sorry for the noise. <laughs> Remember, I have a beaver uh, living nearby. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, that's the whole picture, huh? We have those targets. Don't forget, as I have presented you guys, we have all those targets here down below. All the targets. Hmm. If we are to break this line here to 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 go down again and challenge the 5700 perhaps this time we are gonna put in a new low but we need to get out of this triangle here okay so guys and uh, if you have questions you please ask me you can leave a, a comment here down below or you can uh, ask me in my on my Twitter okay if you haven't followed me please consider doing so Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and join us, our Discord server. The invite is in my description here. So thank you very much, have a wonderful weekend guys. We see each other later, tomorrow probably. Let's see if we are gonna see some kind of movement. Cheers, bye bye.